The Bridge, written by P.A. Nightmare. In 1863, during the American Civil War, the Battle of Gettysburg raged on, becoming the bloodiest battle to be fought on American soil. Three soldiers fighting for the Confederacy, disguised in Union attire, marched on with Union forces. Once discovered, the Union promptly made an example of them. They were hanged until dead right here at Sachs' covered bridge. The hanging took place at dusk, which is historically the time most hangings would occur. The historian and Luke was enthralled in the story his guide was weaving. Ouch! Feeling a sharp poke into his left side, spinning around to glare at whoever just poked him. His girlfriend April had the shepherd's grin on her face. Luke scoffed. What was that for? I was talking to you, and you were ignoring me. I'm paying attention to the tour guide. You know I love history. Maybe you should listen, and you can learn something for a change. Turning back to his guide and listening to her. Legend has it that if you're unlucky enough to be on this bridge at the time of their death, you will meet the same end as the soldiers. The tour guides looked at the crowd and gave them a playful wink. But it's fine. We have not had to cover up any deaths in years. The crowd laughed at their joke. Okay, she's done now. Can we go? I'm bored and it's hot. I want ice cream. April complains. Yes, we can go now. Let's find Tyler. Luke placated. Finding Tyler, they sent out to go to one of the many ice cream parlors in Gettysburg. While eating their ice cream, April makes a suggestion with a mischievous look on her face. We're going to this bridge at dusk. That you seem to enjoy so much, Luke and see if these ghosts really exist, or more likely they are fake as shit. Still will make for a great story. Tyler looks at April like she has lost her mind and yells, On a scale of one to hell no, go fuck yourself. Come on man, Luke coaxes. It's fine, nothing bad will happen. It's all made up for the tourist. No one actually believes this shit. This is just for fun man. And to get more out of this trip, we will most likely never be here again. Tyler concedes. I will come along and be a lookout for you too. We can't have you getting arrested. But I will not be stepping foot on that bridge. This is out of the question. April laughs at him and says, Okay. If you want to be a coward and believe in that superstitious crap, it's real fine. But we are going. After eating their ice cream, the group got to the hotel room. Changed, showered, and got ready for their night's events. About an hour before dusk, they head out for the bridge. Once they got there, the atmosphere was ominously thick. But what Tyler noticed most was the lack of noise. No insects or other sounds could be heard near the bridge. But just before they got close to the bridge, the night seemed just like any other night. Approaching the bridge, April and Luke sat foot on it. As the sun began to fade and dust set in, a fog started to form around them. Tyler, that refused to set foot on the bridge, watched on. Soon he was not able to see Luke or April anymore. Still able to hear them, he was not worried. As if on cue, he heard both of them scream. Not wanting to set foot on the bridge, he screams, what's going on? Slowly as the fog fades, he sees the bodies of his two friends suspended in the air by ropes, swaying back and forth even though there was no wind.